Hi, this is TW. TW on SI. TW Hughes at D. Tomasa Real Estate with some tip for the day, if you will, or something to definitely consider. Um, mortgage rates, as you're probably well aware, are at historic lows. Now, <laughs> the headline is a little more um, inviting, perhaps, than reality. Historic lows, they've only been measured since 1977 when they say that. But nonetheless, Interest rates are near historic lows, and it makes a big difference if you are buying a house or refinancing an existing mortgage. So let's just take a look at the numbers, and I'll tell you how big a difference that really is. An example, say you out borrow, borrow half a million dollars. Mortgage, your mortgage is a half a million dollars. Mortgage rates a year ago were roughly, let's say, 4.28%. With an interest rate on your mortgage of 4.28%, a 30-year mortgage, your monthly mortgage payment would be $2,369 and change. Look at mortgage rates today, and let's just say 2.87. So now you got a 30-year mortgage, 2.87. What's your monthly mortgage payment? $1,990 and change. That's a difference of almost $380 a month on your mortgage payment. It's even more significant when you look at what happens over a 30 year period. Let's just take for example, you borrow a half a million dollars for 30 years. A 1% interest rate difference, each 1% rate difference results in an interest payment greater than 89, almost $90,000 on your mortgage that you're gonna pay with one interest rate one point interest rate rise. So these are serious numbers, well worth considering and definitely food for thought. I hope this is helpful to you. Lastly, let me just close on what financial advisors typically recommend to someone considering a mortgage or buying a property. It's the 28-36 rule. And the 28%, 36% rule says um, that you should spend no more than 28% of your gross income on your mortgage. Now bear in mind, I quoted your mortgage numbers. I did not quote property insurance, I did not quote PMI, mortgage insurance, etc. So there are other factors in this, but no more than 28% for your mortgage payment. And no more than 36% of your total gross income for all your debts, including your mortgage, whether it's student loans or medical bills or whatever. So bear that in mind, we consider how much you should be safely borrowing to get into a home. And bear these numbers in mind when you're thinking of refinancing your home. And I hope this is helpful. We thank you for joining us. This is TW.